Well, this is what they've been striving for, and shortly it will become reality. Here in the Spanish capital, it's the UEFA Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined for commentary tonight by Lee Dixon, and we're fast approaching kickoff time here at the Estadio Metropolitano. It is Juventus taking on Chelsea. Well, hundreds of millions of people will be tuning into this one. Probably the biggest club game in the world. Pointed end of the tournament. Who's going to come out on top? Well, Derek, we're just about to find out. Very, very excited. And the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. Running towards goal. One man to beat. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? We've barely got started and already a yellow card. Now, will that be potentially problematic for player and official? Well, it will be because the player's on the tightrope now. He's now thinking about everything that goes in front of him. An abundance of space. And a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there. Yeah, weak shot straight at him, no problem for the goalie. It's with Fabregas. Aiden Azar. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Can they take the lead? An attempt like that, never likely to trouble the keeper. No, he's got his positioning right, but it was a poor shot in the end. Given away. He's got forward pretty effectively here, Douglas Costa. Douglas Costa gives it away. He's been a bit unlucky. Aspili Quetta. Losing custody of it, Conte. Cristiano Ronaldo. Effective challenge. Well, given your vast European experience, Lee, you must have memories of playing Juventus. Absolutely. Played in a, a dead rubber qualifying match here with David Seaman pulling his hamstring the night before the game in training. And he played the whole game not diving to his right, which was quite hilarious because every time the ball went to his right, I had a little snigger up to myself knowing that he was struggling a little bit. He didn't tell the physio that night. So a throw in to Chelsea. Aiden Azar. It's with Joao Cancelo. Precision there from Kedira. And now Ronaldo. Well, you have to say he's going to be very cross with himself. Well, how's he missed it? It should be the first goal of the game. Aspili Quetta. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Barata. Juventus have given it away. So it's going to be a goal kick here. When you talk about Chelsea, you talk about a team many people fancy to win the Champions League a decade or so ago. It didn't happen, and then against all the odds in 2012, it did finally happen. Yeah, absolutely. You have to say that... And in with a real chance. Only the keeper to beat. And here now is Conte. Morata. Keeper did his job to begin with. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Fabregas. Morata. Goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Morata, can he give them the lead? 
Splendid save from the keeper. Danger averted. Yeah, he didn't have long to react to that, but you have to praise his reflexes there. It's with Joao Cancelo. And the throw in forthcoming. Pedro. Cristiano Ronaldo. Conte now. Carrying a genuine threat here. Masterful piece of foiling. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. Alexandro dispossessed. Barata. Dybala. Attractive looking move, easy on the eye, but nothing there. And Quadrado, well, it was fired straight at the keeper. No real difficulties for him. No, decent position from the goalkeeper. Running towards goal, one man to beat. Still a chance. Oh, and Ronaldo has scored. The first goal will give them such a lift. for the pause and the proceedings here Lee because this has been a into the second half then in this battle for Champions League glory Marcos Alonso Azar it's with Marcos Alonso Jorginho Conte now Morata Costa with it. Well, his opponent bamboozled. It could be up for grabs. Rudiger has it. Conte now. And a more than satisfactory performance from Ronaldo in the first half lead. Well, he'll get an extra sugar in his tea from the coach at half-time after that great first-half performance. Still touch and go in the second half with only a one-goal lead, though. Cristiano Ronaldo. Kedira. Dybala. Andrade. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. Well, a diving save it was. I think that might have been for the cameras, Lee. Well, he could have thrown his cap on that. Often tempting to blow your whistle straight away, but the referee let it flow and then went back and handed out the yellow card. Well, he thought he got away with it, hadn't he? He looked over his shoulder, then all of a sudden the referee's there with the yellow card. Now the execution of the corner. Now Quadrado, Janic. Very quick thinking there. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Well, the counter chance was there, but no more. And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? And 30 minutes left for play in this match. This is Aspini Quetta. Conte. It is now with Jorginho. Goalkeeper's ball, and was always going to be... Now Ronaldo. Conte now. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. 
They don't normally need a second invitation to give it a go on the counter. Morata. Jorginho. And it's with Pedro. And a strong tackle. Pedro. And will it be the leveller? They are a goal down, but perhaps a chance to create something from this corner. elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game and that's a deep corner and he's clear his lines and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save the corner kicks keep on coming so the corner played into the box betwixt and between that clearance Ronaldo excellent challenge Chelsea throw in here here is William and plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position not typical of William to be wasteful as he was then Inside the last quarter of an hour. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Jorginho. Quadrado dispossessed. Attempting to break. And he's broken free. Can he beat the goalkeeper? Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Dybala. Well, I can't believe they're not level. How close can you get without the ball going in the net? All in all, a broken counter-attack. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Douglas Costa has lost it. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. This is Aspili Quetta. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Dybala really is obsessed with taking the game to the opposition, but can they produce from here? Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. N'Golo Conte. It's with Dybala. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. And the keeper had a role to play. They're still within touching distance. Well, he's kept his team in the game. Simple as that. Corner for Juve. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready. And now they will make the personnel change. They've opted for the short one. A moment he would dearly love to have back if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on, why not try a shot? N'Golo Conte. Italy's old lady has passed the final test. Juventus are the winners of the UEFA Champions League. Well, you have to say, fully deserved as well. All those months of toil, the training sessions, etc., the sacrifice, the commitment. The desire, the hunger, the look as well, but the application to put all that into a package and then win this brilliant trophy. They do set very high standards.